Alright, hello everybody, this is Demon coming back for another round of Final Fantasy XIV's Endwalker. So, uh, this will be the intro that I'm using for it for a while, guys, just because I'm probably going to be playing this straight and probably won't have time to do intros and outros. So, I hope everybody here enjoys, and thank you for watching this, and let's go ahead and start it right up. Alright, welcome back everybody, this is Demon coming for another round of Final Fantasy XIV. Last episode, we lost Graha to the Omnicron, so he has sacrificed himself to give us this new path, so now let's talk to Alizé and Alphano to continue on. Look, Adina, portal is open. Will surely deliver us through, it must. Uh, I also made mention last episode, because it's a possibility, um, I work at 9. I have about an hour available to me. If I hit a dungeon or a trial, possibilities are probably higher that it will be a trial. Um, then I might have to cut it a little bit short. Look at Vaidin, it's as though the stars are being devoured by the dead sun. That's where we're headed, into the Mall of Darkness. Well, this here is the path that begins and descends to dizzying heights. Let us make our way one short step at a time. Oh, the stars are getting devoured. It just looks like it's on fire. Our friends got us this far, their courage, their strength, their wisdom, their love. We owe it to them to continue no matter how long it takes. I don't know as I accompany you. Oh, okay, so we're gonna have those to follow us as we go do stuff. So. Oh, we're gonna use this to get up there, okay. So good, dude. Story is excellent. I can't wait till some of these streamers start playing this, like the ones I was watching. They are gonna go crazy with this stuff, dude. Now let's talk to our friends here. Thanker would scout the road ahead. Your stolen or Roger would trade opinions on esoteric subjects. Raha would join in discussion or else chat with me and Alizé about the mission. Stinian would be at the rear of part yet present. All the while you would come and go wherever you were needed and together we would travel. All I can hear is my footfalls. My heartbeat is so much quieter now. But the fact that we can breathe and continue on is proof that the others are still with us. They are. They are. Aren't they? Don't give in to despair now. Now that we're this far in, Alizé. Come on run I don't know why but this looks like ice to me and the first thing I see is just tripping and falling and dying but it was barely visible from here I truly we've come far much farther than we would have been possible and had we kept chasing perfect ideals as we did in the past it's because we have known failure and frustrating that we have learned and grown from them but Highlands entrusted us with this mission with the fate of the very star it's all a dream, isn't it? A long, elaborate dream. Any moment I'll wake up in my bed, still a student, grandfather alive, I'll go about my day relived as the fragments of that other life fade away. That would be happiness, wouldn't it? None of it. No, no, I won't give up these experiences. Good and bad, they are mine. They are me. <sighs> I'm just wondering if they're going to have themselves also be sacrificed or not. That's the one thing I'm very curious about on that front. Me? Oh, I still have plenty of legs left in me. Don't worry. It's you I'm worried about. You always push yourself so hard for us, for everyone. And while we're here, we'll make sure to bear our share of the burden. Sir, I am fine, but thank you for your concern. What of yourself? Though we can't afford to be too leisurely, neither do we need to rush, uh, quickly. We progressed in a possible distance to stand where we are now, and we're about a few steps away from Journey's End. It will be over before we know it. Journey's End? What's that? I come back and do New Game Plus. I can't wait till that gets released. That's gonna be fun. I, I I'll probably have to go through another round of this just to get an idea of how the story really works. Cause like my brain's gonna want to like see everything and experience with everything unlocked. Cause I did the Shadowbringers because it was that good. This is really good. There are some structures up ahead. Still a ways to go before we reach the Dead Sun. Given all this, I know how naive it must sound. To, uh, hope it all works out somehow. Still, you've forgiven me. Give me a uh, wish for all the same, and the most of all, for you most of all. And not that you of all people need it, it's just, after all the help you've given me, and for once I want to give, I want to be the one to help you. Kiko, Kiko's here until the end. Well, this is it, the end of the path, and the beginning of whatever awaits. There will be a greater hardships. We may be made to feel powerless. Here, come what may, let us have no regrets. 
Now let us have pride in what we have achieved, and what we achieved and how it changed us for the better. That's worth fighting for and dying for as they did. Alright, come on Alpha now Alize, let's go continue the mission. And let's see where it takes us. Alright, this is Alpha now, but... Of all the great recreated worlds doing, this one feels the most familiar. This is almost... Amaro? No. Can't be. Normal. It's like, unlike many cities we know, but it's deathly quiet. Hey, half the inhabitants are within the buildings are invisible to our senses. Wrong on both counts. There simply is no one here. Meteon. Bitch, you stay away from me. You are one creepy ass little good thing. Does that sound like the thing from Oblivion? It did, didn't it? <laughs> That's how I found it when I arrived. Another star which once pulsed with life, but no longer. How it ended, I do not know. Invasion, sickness, suicide, none can say. None live to speak for the dead, they are gone. Gone, search all you like, but you'll only end up turning back. Please don't say I get to talk to her. If what if Meteon says true, what are we supposed to do? Laugh. I think you've caught me. This form is barely dropped from the ocean that swells from within the dead sun. Even so, I could easily unmake you. You are only still alive because of your comrades, but they cannot protect you forever. Till they fade away, I'll satisfy myself with watching you try and fail to find a way out of this lifeless place. I will dab on you, you little bitch. Is there no one here? Then neither should there be any emotion to bar away. Yet Meteon seems convinced we'll turn back. What riddle is this? One way or another, we must find a way forward. Let us make it through a search of the city. Whatever Meteon may have said, we should confirm it with our own eyes. We need to have a look around. Indeed, at the very least, it doesn't appear to be a sprawling place like those before. We split up. It should take too long for us to cover the area. You, you, you're just a creepy little bitch. I don't like you anymore. You used to, you, I seen you in Elpis. You were actually kind of cool. Now you just weird me the hell out. Doesn't seem to be anyone here. Perhaps you could try calling out. Hello? Everyone's heard you, they do not respond. Acropolis. Hmm. We're enough of the thick layer of dust. One could imagine someone drinking from these cups but moments ago. I don't resemble a tree. It appears to have been fashioned from a stone like material. Right in a place of an actual tree or to serve some other purpose, perhaps. Regardless, there's no one left to explain it. Tell the story. Place is reminiscent of a bar, but neither patrons nor staff are anywhere to be seen. Egg shaped containers lined the shelves with a loose few sitting on counter, vessels of beverages in all likelihood. And you bustling with activity until it was not. Let's see, let's just put an image on our head. What could have possibly happened that this civilization ended it like this? Um well if it was weapons of mass destruction, WMDs. Um let's sit there and see. Everything would be destroyed. Tis not. Could have been a viral play. Who knows? Or it could just be Meteon's creepy ass bitch. Yeah, that's still, that's plausible. Distance glimpse Alize picking her way through the ruins, but otherwise by no signs of life. If anyone can hear me, say something. Recall Echo's family before being swallowed by the silence. Unless it was just abandoned. Hmm. This place is cool. 
This is the creepiest one out of all of them, because you just don't know what the hell happened. It was set slightly off the ground. This appears to be a door, while the objects to the left could be, uh, could be letter boxes. The door is rusted shut, and the film of dust all over suggests no one has come through in a long, long time. Yeah, this place weird as hell. I don't like this place. It creeps me the hell out. It really creeps me the hell out. Oh, there she is. What the hell's Alpha now? Hi, right, take a look at this. If the road was a little longer, we could take it to just beneath the dead sun. But I suppose this is where the reconstruction ends. How about you? Did you find anything of interest? Everything's rusted shut like it hasn't been used in centuries. I see. I know the same things. Cups left on tables, chairs out of place. I don't know what happened here, but I do not know I don't want to be alone anymore. We've searched enough for now. Let, let's find Alpha and compare what we've learned. That is creepy as hell. Like, the other ones all had people in it. This one doesn't have anything, so it's even creepier than the other ones. Like, it's just like... It's like walking into a dead city and wondering where the hell the life's at. Which, theoretically, there are dead cities you can go to. I mean... I guess dead in the aspect that nobody lives there anymore. It's very weird when you look at them. Places fall apart, they end up getting destroyed. Yada, yada, yada. Did you find anything? Gone. No, this place is completely deserted. And I can't see how we're supposed to move on from here. Neither can I. It's quite the quandary. There are no denizens to bar our path, yet there is no way forward. For another mystery, we did find signs of very recent life. You'd swear everyone just vanished into thin air. I wonder how many ruined worlds like this has Meteon seen. Ah. Uh, could it be? Yes. Yes, I believe I may have puzzled this out. Despite how it appears, it's no different this time. There is someone here who has wished for this ruin. And I believe that together, Alizé and I can overcome their will. No, I won't allow it. I promised your parents I'd keep you safe. No, not another word. First one. I'm afraid it has to be done. For our comrades, for everyone on Atheris, and for myself. I will not pretend otherwise. I have my fears. Not for myself, but for you. The last to remain. You are no stranger to carrying the burden of others. But I can only imagine how heavy the weight would be this time. As your friend, I cannot bear the thought of making you suffer so. Then why suggest such a thing? It's too much to ask of anyone. Even her. Why must she be the one? Why must she fight alone? More than a hero. She's a dear friend. Not only to us, but to so many others. There are so many people in the world who care for you, and yet... And yet... <laughs> Alize, I have an idea. Given the nature of this realm, 
It may be possible to do more than unbar our friend's path. We might also pave her a new one. For instance, a path where she finds happiness at journey's end. This much, I think we can believe with the utmost conviction, no matter how deep our despair. So please, believe in us too, and press on. Thank you. What are you? If the plan's decided, then let's not dally. <sighs> ah, there you are. It was as I said, was it not? It was. We couldn't find anyone. But this place isn't entirely deserted, is it? You are here. You sought out a Star of Promise and found a ruined husk. Like us, you explored the devastation. Like us, you were stricken. Horrified by the thought that so many lives could be snuffed out as if they were worth nothing. And the thought that you would have to bear the terrible tidings to Hermes. That which you saw and felt, you shared with your sisters as did they share their own grim findings with you. Overcome by the pervasive despair of these stars, some of you inadvertently ushered their peoples to their ends. Knowing the horrors you know, anyone would feel the same. They would fear what lies ahead and struggle to move forward. Fear? I had forgotten that such a thing existed. So focused have I been on shepherding despair. If you can remember, then you can still face and overcome your own fear. Oh, she ain't gonna go black-eyed, is she? Why would I bother with such an insignificant emotion? If the despair I command is as a raging river, then fear is but a trickling stream. It can do nothing to alter my flow. You spoke with the Aya, yes? Heard their tale of what awaits the universe. It's true. The stars grow colder and more distant. Eventually, all will enjoy frozen solitude. Using the power of dynamis, I'm hastening that process. In so doing, nothing will be born ever again. Everyone will remain dead. Alas, it will take time for that to happen. So in mercy, I sent you my gift. To spare you needless suffering. Don't worry. Even if no living witnesses remain to mark the event, I'll make certain that Atheris has a proper end. For all the power you wield, you're more fearful than the familiar you used to be. That Meteon feared simply to move forward. But your fear is such that you've given up on everything. I know it well. That sense of defeat. I've tasted my fair share of it. But as many times as we've fallen down, we've learned how to pick ourselves up and carry on. We take each other's hand, share, 
in each other's courage, follow in each other's footsteps, and turn sorrow into strength. There are times when we fail. We bear wounds that do not heal. But these experiences are part of life, and they make us stronger. We rise, fall, and rise again. Turn my to my character saying Alpha now, Alize. Damn it. Earlier, an old Charlian. Oh, God. Crowd can feel it. Cryo, are you all right? Uh, it's nothing, just a headache. Tieko's given her a warning. I know they will. Apologies for the interruption. A man arrived on the last ferry, an associate of the Scions. He wishes to speak with you at once. Who? Xenos? That has to be Xenos. There's no way that's not Xenos. <laughs> Xenos is going to come in and whoop all ass. It's going to be great. Oh, that, that stuff would be terrific. Oh, dude, this is sad as hell. Oh, hell no! Creepy spirit bitches! To say the word of life, you sense the presence of another. So I have a thousand, thousand worlds weights heavy, and yet you can walk on. I don't like that thing. That thing creeped me out. It's got two glowing eyes and staring at my heart. I'm just, uh, can't, if, why am I, I ain't walking near that thing, that thing creeps me the F out. If you need a push, I'll be right there behind you. Wait, what? Do not despair, you are not without allies. What's your fault? What we have sown in blood, we have reaped in suffering. Go on. Upon the souls of they who have sacrificed themselves to pave the way for peace, we will never abandon our cause. 
cameras. While it is true that man succumbs all too often to anger and avarice, he may yet overcome his baser instincts through the forming of bonds with others. Such victories are rarely won without sacrifice, but the prize is worth the price. That's Rob on. And we, for our part, are glad indeed to be able to welcome friends both old and new. The overs? Wait, aren't the elder seats here? Who else we got here? Save your tears for the moment. You may be sure we will have ample cause to shed them, be they for joy or despair. Ian? Through tragedy and sacrifice, we rise to greet a new dawn. A future shaped by the choices we made in ways we could never foresee. Cool. Okay, that one creates me the yes, most though. Miracles do happen. So let us pray and will our friends hope. I just hope all our friends aren't act actually dead dead. Green. I think what we'll do is we'll get up to the cutscene where I'm assuming this trial takes place. Nidhogg? I need a lock here. This is cool. The funniest part is it's the first time they forced us to walk and not run. Let's finish this. Alright, what are we dealing with? Meteon up here? Here the path ends. There is no way to reach our nest. I told you. Resignation and acceptance reign in this place. The rejection of life by those who came to curse it. Those whose dreams were unfulfilled. Whose prayers were unheard. Whose labors were unrewarded. Hope cannot deliver you unto hopelessness. Our refuge is beyond you. Always has it been. Such is the nature of this place. You should have remained on a theris. Struggle will avail you not, nor will it grant your comrades peace. Come, let me relieve you of your burden. You have suffered enough. Asm. Get him a Zim. Asm's magic. So long as our souls remain, you can use it to summon us back. But you mustn't. How do we make peace? That's why it's too soon for this to end. You must triumph. Drown Be safe, all of you, and come back. I am ever grateful. After all these years, is this the answer I was hoping for? So long as we remember, our fates remain ours to shape. And 
Godspeed. Perhaps when our time comes to return to the star, we shall remember these few days we have lost. Do not squander it. The legacy I leave you. I won't, Emmett. I won't forsake our cause. I'll reach you. I'll find a way. I won't forsake our cause. <gasps> Pog? them remember but all this time i'm the one who had forgotten <laughs> a right fool you've made of me hermes <laughs> to add insult to injury i've been denied a sound rest forced to watch this clamorous show <laughs> oh, come now it's been a gripping tale unbreakable bonds and noble sacrifice sprinkled with moments of levity to counterbalance the pathos it's got it all I, for one, would have been perfectly content to watch Enraptured from the stalls. At the day, it's an Emmett. Emmett's go whoop ass. I love it. But I won't say no to a bit part. What are you? Half-faded souls of the dead. Isn't it painfully obvious? <laughs> Worry not. We haven't the power to defeat you, nor is it our duty to do so. Not any more. That being said, we do have a score to settle. So here I am, Venar. I suppose you needed me to tie it all together, these frayed threads of our history. But knowing you, I suspect there's a joke in it too. Oh, yes. I can imagine you gloating over my forgetfulness. Were I feeling charitable, I might assume you had left room for the possibility of this outcome. Even so, you'll get no applause from me. A single gesture will not lighten the burden I've had to bear. Still, you must be commended. Our methods would not have brought mankind this far. And so, as a show of respect to the last of us, I make this declaration. You will not end our journey. That is our answer. The answer of all lives of Atheris, past and present. As you've called us to the stage, so shall we perform. And creation magics never fail the things. What are you doing? Drawing upon the hopes of your comrades, we will make for you a new path. What form said path takes depends on you. So focus. Focus and envision that which rejects the claim that you cannot attain your goal. Ours is the wisdom to weave the fabric of reality. Ours is the power to create. Meteon, though I gave you these wings to soar the heavens, I did not teach you how to walk the earth. So loath was I to bind another living being. 
in the course of your long journey. You will learn from those you meet. Learn to walk and run and so much more. A flower. Yes. Upon your return, I will gift you a beautiful flower. These Alpus blooms serve as proof that this realm is not utterly devoid of hope. No more can you deny its power. No more is yours the dominion of despair. In case the practical implications were lost on you, your comrades no longer need fight their fight. So go on. Call them back to your side. May you ever walk in the light. Ah, how disappointing. Not even a single scar in the making to brag about. <laughs> say, say thank you to Emmett. Regardless. Honestly. This is far more than any of us could have hoped for. Let us be thankful. Indeed. That we thus stand reunited is a gift. Let us not squander it and see that we all return to its heirs. Aye. As soon as we've averted the final days. Good to see you again. Our heroic sacrifice paid off, I take it. Come, my friends. Let us carry on and finish it. Together. It's over, Meteon. Come with us, Meteon. Yeah, I say come with us. the hell? Can you hear me? The voice is within, crying in pain, wailing in sorrow. Hurting, hurting. End it. Silence it. Silence our song of oblivion. Way is open. They can proceed. So it seems. Your 
leaving. Of course. The Encore is finished, and I will not suffer myself to live again by Heidelin's magic. But more than that, the future you seek is not the past we loved. That is why we fought, and why I lost. But though you defeated me, my ideals are inviolate, invincible. Spare me your pity. I have no use for it. If you would do something for me, save our star. See this tale to a triumphant conclusion, and with elation in your hearts, bid the final curtain fall. Only then may it rise again, and a new tale begin, with new parts for all to play. Tell me, have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the Bounty? Or the treasure islands beyond the frozen waters of Blind Frost in Offerd's North? The fabled golden cities of the New World? The sacred sites of the forgotten people of the South Sea Isles? What about Merisidia, the southern continent, do you know aught of its present state of affairs? I thought not. Even of your little Eorzea, you know precious little. The true identities of the Twelve, for instance. <laughs> What's making me learn? All of which is to say, expand your horizons. Go forth and seek discovery. Some of the civilizations in the reflections will surprise you. As the bearer of Azem's crystal, you may consider your duty to see at least that much. I certainly did. I pray we meet again. If not in this life, then perhaps another. Whensoever it should be, I trust it will be a most joyous reunion. For you, maybe. I want nothing to do with it. Oh, don't be that way. Amen and Hythalidaeus coming back in for one last run. Tis my firm hope that our ancient friends will find a new beginning, they and all their brethren who have returned to the ethereal sea. For that's come to pass, we must see. We must avert the final day to save Etherus. Go and see all those places and more. Mitsalk has given you quite a task. If I say I should be glad to assist you once we return together, triumphant, of course. For all the lives on those stars who li whose light hath been extinguished for the ancients who went before us, I offer a solemn prayer. Let me explain, I have a rough idea what happened to you while I was gone. It was a strange feeling. As I was struggling in a pitch black sea, a powerful tide was trying to wash me away. One that churned with hatred and envy for life and all that I could do to swim against it. But suddenly I was here. It felt long and short at the same time. Hazy as a dream, but through it all, one thing was crystal clear. You fought with all your being to keep our hopes alive. Claiming, I can't claim I fully understood the workings of this place, but in that moment I felt I knew what I needed to do. I felt that it was the right time to offer up this life I owe. 
that I could risk it all on the wager that the rest of you would manage without me. We're glad I didn't see that I was right. As different as the engines may be, they were people not unlike us. The first to fall and feel pain, and then the first to force to find a way to rise again. From then we have come, and in our pain and suffering we are connected. I don't think I ever want to say this uh, to the man in retrospect. It always felt like the wrong thing. But the past now with Santa, he came to our aid in our moment of need. We are here, and we are not scorned this chance he's given us. We will see this tale to the triumph conclusion and bid the final curtain fall. Such an end worthy of grand ovation, one that will give all of the theorists uh, cause to raise their voices in celebration. Alright guys, so with that, I unfortunately do have to end the episode. This thing is creeping me the hell out, and I don't want to have anything to do with this thing. It is like... It's like somebody threw their balls in your face. That's the only way I can describe this thing. It's a pretty accurate description, by the way. Um, I'm not going to stare at it any longer. It's creeping me the hell out. All I can say is this, guys. I do have to unfortunately end the episode. We have hit about 40 minutes. Um, I love this game. It is terrific. The fact that my character calls on Thaladeus and Emmett in our hour of need is freaking amazing. Um, and both of them coming back as their old selves is freaking cool. Emmett, of course, does what Emmett does best. Um, the only thing I wish we could have did was just sitting there, like, just said thank you or something to him. Or just said nothing at all. Like, I wish we could have at least said something to him besides just looking at each other, but... In the end, uh, I'm satisfied with that nonetheless. Um, as we sat there and seen, he seems pretty content with letting us do things because he trusts us, he knows us, at least at this point. And we have a mission to complete because, as he said, we have to still keep doing what the other Azem always did. Or Azem always did, which is keep exploring, keep looking at new things, keep pushing forward. And we have to honor what he asked us to do. So, when we come back, we will talk to Alpha now. Um, I'm assuming when we talk to him, it should unlock the dungeon, or maybe perchance we have to talk to everybody. I could be wrong on that front, I could be right, I don't know which. Such an end, the worthy of granting ovation, one that will give all the theorists cause to raise their voice in celebration. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen. So, with that, guys, uh, say hello to Past Demon as he gives you guys the outro. And I stand here ready to, after the finishing touches, perhaps later on, finishing this game out and beating Meteon's little ball sack of fear that's what i'm calling it so uh, i'll see you guys next time thanks all right everybody this is demon telling you goodbye i hope everybody enjoyed this episode of m walker um again i probably won't get too lucky and have too many like openings because there's gonna be so many people playing n walker so um i'm doing a custom little outro for it this time around so uh as i always sit there and say please like subscribe leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys then thanks